One year ago, Hurricane Dorian made landfall in the Bahamas as a monstrous and destructive Category 5 storm. Dorian produced sustained winds at 185 miles per hour. It is the second strongest in recorded history. It caused extensive flooding and billions of dollars in damage across the Abaco Islands and Grand Bahama. Tonight, our Army Hyde spoke with a father and son who live in the Bahamas and rescue people as structures were flattened and swept to sea a year ago today. Driving through flooded streets in a backhoe in the middle of Hurricane Dorian. So we try to get to the truck now. This is Freeport in the Bahamas almost exactly one year ago. Never in a million years we would have expected water to reach in the middle of the city. Like everybody else, Eulen Henfield and his son LeVar prepared for Dorian. This was hardly their first hurricane, and they know there are some places that just don't flood until Dorian. When I look outside, he said, hey, man, we got to get out yesterday because the water's down the road, so we got we, we to go. The Hanfields made it to higher ground, made it to safety, but then they heard people were trapped and the water was still rising. So we have to make some kind of effort. We can't just stay there and not do anything. We have to make some kind of effort. The water was too deep for the truck, so Lavard jumped on the backhoe yeah, one mile, yeah. and went looking for his neighbors. We used the front part to kind of clear the way. Because the water was already, the water was uh, at about maybe three, four, five feet. I like to help people. And yeah. I have kids, so I would want somebody to do the same for them as I would do for someone else. So there were like people all over the Baco, and what he did was he drove them down to the, uh, to the police station so they could shelter there. Not just one trip, they went back again and again. They had it on Facebook, so a lot of people were crying for help. You know, everybody's crying for help. You know, I'm here, I'm stuck here, I can't get out. I'm stuck there, I can't get out. Anyone in the Hot Falls area, listen for the horn and come out. The Hanfields estimate they rescued about 60 people in all, and LeVard was okay with it when his neighbors called him a hero. It's not an everyday thing, but it, I, I call it that. We just was happy that we were there to help and that we could have done what we did to save our fellow Bahamians. The Hanfields tell me for the most part, things in their neighborhood are now back to normal, though they say even now, a year later, there are some who are still rebuilding. And they are very aware that we are once again in hurricane season. They say they hope that they're ready. Ari Height, WPBF 25 News. Hmm. Well, the Hanfields are certainly heroes. Yeah, thank Absolutely. goodness they were there to save their neighbors and friends, Mike. And that's just amazing. Yeah, we saw the satellite photograph, the satellite imagery in Ari's mm -hmm. package. It's worth remembering that storm sat in the Bahamas for nearly two days. Winds 185 miles per hour, sustained winds. The storm just sat there. The damage just amazing in that part of the world. And how lucky were we that trough came up and picked up the storm and took it east of Florida, eventually making landfall in the Carolinas.